So we talked before, uh, after your last fight, about uh, all the things that du bringing Dwayne Ludwig in has done uh, for all you guys. I mean, it seemed like you really had some stuff you wanted to show off in this one. You, know, you kept throwing that high kick out there. You know, are you are you consciously going out there and trying to, to put that those new tools to work? I think it's just the confidence that Dwayne's brought to me. Um, like I've always had the skills, you know, but I just relied on my wrestling so strong, which I still am always going to do. You know, it's always going to be there, but Dwayne's just, you know, back me up and he's like, man, what you got works, you know, use it, uh, you know, tighten me up a little bit, pick me apart here and there, but uh, ultimately it's just the confidence and knowing the weapons that I have and, uh, yeah, using them. I mean, this is a pretty quick turnaround, I mean, yeah. after the last one, what now? Um, either another quick turnaround or just help my boys get ready. I mean, I'm ready to fight all the time. Uh, we're, in, we're in the gym always. We're staying ready, not getting ready. And, uh, you know, I'll fight as much as they'll put me in there. Really? Physically, you feel like you could do a quick turnaround uh, I could, like this? Yeah, if I could, I could fight. I would fight next month again, too, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it's the only way I get paid right now, you know? So. Talk about Bang Ludwig in specific relation to the tactics he brings to the table. We just saw Joseph Benavides <laughs> go to the body and get a sensational knockout mm -hmm. against Darren Uyama. Talk a bit about not what just what Bang brings as a motivator and a trainer, but specifically with respect to what you see of an opponent now and how you can go about attacking with strikes in a live fight. Yeah, he does a great job of picking our opponents apart. Um, no, what, what like if that, we had three guys fight and all of us have three different game plans, and so he has to work all of them within one night. You know, so he does a very good job of watching the tape, picking our opponents apart, and uh, know what we should be for our strength, what we should be using. And uh, you know, he's a great Muay Thai practitioner. He's been doing it for a long time, so uh, you know, just believe in everything he says. Talk about the finish. It would seem kind of unclear. Obviously, the, the right hand is really what dropped him and got the ball rolling, mm -hmm. but also he hit him with a head kick before that. Talk about the kick mm -hmm. before that and when you really realized that damage had been done. Uh, it was the right hand that I noticed and damage had been done. I knew I clipped him with the kick. Um, you know, I think it's just the barrage of the pressure. After I hit him with the right hand, I knew he was weak from it. Uh, I just didn't want to give him any room to breathe. I didn't want to go to that second round. I just wanted to finish him there. And, uh, you know, when I smell weakness, I just got to jump all over it. Obviously, you got a little something going on in your nose. Is it broken? How bad is that? No, just a little bit of skin. I just stitched up just in case. Uh, you know, he caught me with a grazing elbow off the cage. He did a great job of uh, keeping me off the pressure off the cage and caught me with a little elbow. Talk about Vienna as an opponent. I mean, this wasn't the anticipated fight. People were looking forward to Francis Corvera and Hugo Viana. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he clearly showed he's a quality opponent. Oh, I think yeah. maybe gave a, a lot, a harder test to you than a lot of people uh, expected. Talk about having to face a guy like Hugo Viana, who for you, I mean, it's it ended up being a winning scenario and yeah. people were impressed with your win, but I mean, that's a that's a relatively high risk, low reward fight if you exclude the fact that you got a pretty sensational knockout. Absolutely, I mean, he's a very tough opponent, fast, um, kind of unpredictable, throws real wide punches. Um, you know, I, I feel like it is a big win just for the fact he's undefeated, he's really good on open fighter, weight class above where he usually fights, and uh, you know, I didn't take him lightly at all. I knew he was a tough guy, and uh, I was just gonna throw right down the pipe and bring it hard. I have a question about the three of you fighting on the same card. You, Joseph, Money Mendez is up soon. You know, on the one hand, you could argue that's a good thing that you're all preparing, but on the other hand, you could argue that you might not get the personal attention that you could use before a fight. What was the situation like, and how did, how did it play out? Um, you know, I'm not too worried about the getting the personal because Dwayne's real good about trading. We also got Master Tong that's there for us, and Joseph's got Gift that's in our corner as well, always helping us out. He's out in Vegas we go and tra uh, train with. Um, so I actually like it, you know, because we have to bring our whole team out here. We have our camaraderie, helps with the nerves, and uh, you just have all your friends there backing you up, kind of like family, you know. So I, I like it a lot. And so far, you guys are two for three, so. Yeah, Mendevita show. We're going to win all three of them. Mendevita show. Yeah, we, we, we call ourselves one person right now. Tonight, we're just one person. <laughs> Mendevita show. Like Voltron. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We create one big person. Yeah. It's great. A bunch of little guys. So <laughs> MMA Roast is going to have a field day. Totally. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> awesome. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much.